Again, thank you so much for taking your time uh, out, of your, out of your afternoon for this uh, presentation. And my name is Keegan Dowling. I'm the account executive for the Northeast at SRS. And I'm really excited to, uh, to show this to you. So let's go over a little bit about what I hope that you leave this presentation with and why you're here. OK, so let's go over why you're here. You want to either drastically decrease the time you spend on transcription, or maybe you want to drastically reduce the cost that you spend on transcription. So if so, I think you're going to be very, very pleased with the next um, hour. And also, we are so dedicated to, to transcription and, um, and the platform that we've built that before I joined the account management team, I was actually a dedicated SRS transcription uh, sales director. So we had myself that was just selling this to our clients, and you know we did break up um, into the territories, and now everybody gets to share the wealth. So my goal is that both Gary and I give you a clear demonstration of how easy your transcription process could be, and then you leave this call comparing your current workflow and the SRS transcription workflow. So that's my goal for this call. And we've seen such overwhelming success so far by approaching transcription in the SRS way. So what we hope to do is dive into your workflows. We're going to pick them apart. We're going to keep and enhance what works. And we're going to toss what doesn't. Uh, we're also going to customize it to your liking. So everybody, both your staff and your physicians, are happy. And then we're going to keep them happy. So that's what's going to happen after you uh, go live with SRS transcription. So I'm going to be giving you some information, some stories, and then I'm going to turn it over to Gary Lustberg for a little bit um, of a live demonstration. And I'm also going to give you all of the tools to secure a more practice-centered, in-depth demonstration uh, with your dedicated account manager. So why SRS transcription? I'm going to be honest. It is the best in the industry. We allow you to reduce costs by redefining the line of text. And we use an integrated solution, and it's going to drive efficiencies. And we do that by the use well, the first reason is by the use of mobile technology. And everybody has a smartphone these days. I mean, my grandmother has a smartphone, and she's 86. And I'm, I really don't want to offend anybody who's clutching their Blackberries right now. But I mean, you know, that's just the way of the future, these smartphones. Another thing is there is a full integration with the SRS EHR. So that is absolutely unbelievable. Certainly, we can use other transcription solutions that we can populate uh, the documents into SRS. But the fact that we have our own platform for tr transcription that's fully integrated, that's just going to streamline so many workflows right off the bat. Uh, we also have the ability to use dictation guides. And we actually pull in your last note and we template, uh, I'm sorry, and template so you're fully mobile and prepared. You can sit there and you can look at your schedule. Um, and, and see the patients, and then click on each patient, see their last note, and dictate off of that. Unbelievable. It's also um, a physician-friendly approach to clinical documentation. So our transcription platform is going to provide your doctors with the flexibility to document the patient encounter in the most natural and efficient way. And uh, most of you on the call probably know a little bit about the SRS FlexNote. We kind of take that approach, too. So rather than making you and your staff conform to one hard-coded way to get that exam in, or get that dictation into the chart, we're going to allow you to determine what your success means to you. So how is it going to be the most efficient for your doctors? And the best part about it is you're not tied to the computer. With a single click, you can upload your dictations directly to the transcriptionist without having anybody perform the manual labor of uploading it from the Olympus Digital Voice Recorder. However, you certainly can still do that uh, should you choose with the SRS transcription ap application. There's many different ways that we can, um, that we can you know, make your transcription work workflow work for you. But let's talk about the mobile application first. OK, so it is a free iPhone, iPad, and Android application. Uh, we do use the latest technology. And we do have a real-time patient schedule um, and your previous notes from SRS. So what happens is we build an interface from SRS to our transcription platform that pushes your appointment list for the day. And with that, you can click. The doctor can click on his first one, uh, let's say Jane Doe. And he can see Jane Doe's templates. Um, and then that pulls in from her chart in SRS. So he can dictate based on that. We do have um, custom macros and dictation guides. And this is going to be a huge money saver. And we create them for you. Or if you already have them created, we can incorporate those into to, um, you know, to our platform. So these custom macros and these dictation guides, uh, you'll see it a little bit later in the presentation. These are ways that we cut the cost 
rather than um, just you know cutting the time it takes. We also have a seamless transfer of uh, transcribed documents to the patient's record. So no longer are you chasing missing dictations. And the web-based and mobile device workflow management tool, um, it just allows providers to only worry about carrying one device. And after we turn this over in just a few minutes to Gary, he's going to kind of outline that workflow management and, um, and go a little bit more into detail on that. But it really is all about keeping it simple. And with SRS transcription, like the SRS EHR, it's going to cut out all of your unnecessary steps you're not going to believe how efficient it is. And just recently, Gary and I were on site uh, doing kind of an analysis, a transcription analysis for one of our clients. And the doctor that we were working with, he just he couldn't believe how seamless and efficient the process is going to be uh, for him when he switches over, when he's in the process of switching over to SRS transcription. But not to mention, his office manager was sitting next to him, and she was thrilled because the doctor travels between three locations, and many of you have multiple locations. Um, and she doesn't have to wait for him to come back to the main location, hand her his voice recorder for her to upload. So that, right then and there, that could add two days onto the turnaround time. If the doctor is using this mobile application, he can just, he can dictate and then click upload right there on his screen, and now it's in the hands of the transcriptionist. There's nothing more efficient than that. Unbelievable. So I think I heard all the practice administrators out there just, uh, a loud sigh of relief. Thank you very much, Keegan. Uh, one thing I, I did want to add to a great uh, beginning was uh, all the interfaces, the macros, the dictation guides that Keegan was speaking about, those are also at no cost. So what we try to do is uh, have no barriers to entry in terms of allowing your providers to try the SRSTX service to get them to be familiarized with utilizing a mobile application versus a, um, an Olympus recorder, as Keegan mentioned. Uh, again, we don't want to change the way they're doing business. We're just providing options to hopefully make their lives a little bit better and a little bit more efficient as well as your staff's. So if everyone could see my screen right here, is I'm going to be just mimicking my iPad on the screen. Uh, we can use for a mobile application, as Keegan said, an iPad, an iTouch, an iPhone. Uh, any Android mobile device can download the free application with our free interface to your patient schedule. So the first thing I'm going to do is where you're going to see me click with my mouse is just where um, I'm using my finger to open up the application like anybody would on their device. Now, the greatest thing about the mobile application is not that it's just a dictation tool, but it actually allows the provider to dictate, review past notes, review current notes, e-sign, and automatically fax out all on this one device, all very quickly and very, very easily. Now, your providers can use all parts, some, or none of this application, but the options are all there for them, and it's completely customizable per provider. So without further ado, I'm just going to click on my SRSTX mobile application. And again, if you are interested and you'd like to download the application, um, you can contact your, um, your account manager. They can give you uh, the, uh, the instructions on how to download it with the username password for a demo login so you can play with it yourself. So clicking on the SRSTX mobile application, I'm going to be using an ortho patient as a, as a demonstration, an ortho doctor. So when I log into the application, as I mentioned before, Okay, you have your date that comes up with the real-time feed of your patient's schedule. So any add-ons or no-shows are going to come off and go on accordingly. If a provider did not dictate on a previous day and wanted to go back to previous dictations, they could just click the arrow here and go back and see the dictations that they haven't dictated on. Now, just like they would dictate uh, on a recorder and then check off in a schedule, that's the exact thing that happens on a digital version of the workflow. So if I was to dictate on James Noble and complete my dictation and upload it, a nice little check mark goes next to James Noble, or I can design it in multiple different filter modes where James Noble gets removed from the screen. So let's talk about James Noble and how the dictation process works. So if I was to click on James Noble, now to save the provider time, we don't require any information about the patient. 
is when the provider dictates, they're going to be dictating the patient name, uh, they're going to be dictating, and they're going to start with, you know, the chief complaint or the diagnosis or anything else because when they upload the audio file to us, it comes with all that patient demographic information. So the provider no longer has to dictate the patient name, MR number, date of birth, date of service, things that take up a little bit of their time, but if they're seeing 40 to 50 to 60 patients a day and we could save a couple of seconds on each of those dictations, again, any little bit counts. So what happens when I click on James Noble? One of the filters that I have set up right here is that I wanted to see my prior notes come up. So if I wanted to look at my last note on James Noble, I could click on the last note, okay, come down, click this red record button, begin dictating, said, hey, review past medical surgical history, chain, take my HPI from, from the last note and bring it over to the new note. Because what you're doing is you're giving instructions like you would to any transcriptions that you might have in your office or a, you know, an outside transcription company, but we're taking them from the last note. Okay, and again, it's all designed to make your providers as efficient as possible. In addition to that, as Keegan mentioned before, okay, we also have the ability to display dictation guides on their mobile devices. So if I came over here and clicked on my dictation guides, I might be able to see things that, you know, um, I have that I need to dictate in between the blanks, so to speak. So, for instance, if I had a new patient knee, okay, I can come in here and I can say, oh, I need to dictate chief complaint, injury date, HPI, and then I can go up and say, well, this is the repetitive information that I have on my normals. Now I just need to dictate the changes. And again, not only designed to save time for the providers, but the cost for having a dictation guide and a template already there is fractional compared to what the cost is of straight dictation. So now that we've gotten through the dictation process, there's also a complete workflow on, on the mobile application. So if I went back and I saw my patient list, if I came down here to this transcription uh, folder, this folder shows me a workflow. It shows me how many dictations I have dictated that the transcriptionist still needs to type, how many need to be reviewed. So let's say my personal workflow is uh, that all my reports go to uh, an MA in my office. They review them, and then they send them off for me to sign. I, I then have a to be signed folder where I can come in and I can either e-sign all my reports, or if I have a few minutes before surgery the next day, I can open them up and edit them and e-sign them. And then at that point, they're automatically faxed out if you choose to use our um, optional automated faxing service, and then directly sent into the patient chart in the right tab in SRS. Now, right now, it might be that you might be being messaged in SRS, your providers, and they need to sign there. Well, what this does is the mobile application, it's a fully HIPAA-compliant signature, and it gives them the flexibility of not having to, to come back into the office, be messaged, have to open up their chart, open up the note, and electronically sign it. So again, if I came in here and I click on eSign, I see all my notes from the prior day. Okay, I can open up my note on Kevin Brown. I can edit it, or I can electronically sign it. Again, once I electronically sign it, that note goes into SRS and is sitting there waiting uh, for the next time the patient comes in. Keegan, I'm going to stop here because I, I went through the, um, the application a little bit fast, and if anyone has any questions, anyone has any questions on any part of the application, both the dictation through the workflow, um, before I turn this off and go to the, the SRS TX module, the web-based module, I'd like to know if there are any questions on the, on the mobile application. Gary, we do actually have some questions. Um, one is, is there a charge for a stat dictation? Okay, that's a, that's a great question. Um, there is no charge for stat dictations. Um, as you probably saw here, if I went to James Noble and that little stat button here, we're a next business day turnaround service. So SRSTX, if you dictate at 5, 6 o'clock at night, you're probably going to get your reports back 10, 11 o'clock the next morning. 
with the advent of the iPhone application, unlike a Olympus recorder, where everything was uploaded in the middle of the night, and you know, a lot of times stats happened because a lot of times the files won't return back the next day because they were uploaded so late. Because they're being uploaded throughout the day, we're starting on the, typing on those reports almost immediately. Um, so if it's within reason, we do not charge anything for stat dictations. Great. And we have one more question uh, about the mobile application, and that's can a uh, PA or NP see their physician schedule on the mobile app, and can they view different providers on different days? That's a good question. Uh, actually, that's a great question, and yes, the workflow is designed exactly for that. Oh. So for instance, you know, this button right here is part of the filters I was discussing before. So if I went and I opened this filter, you know, I could sort by appointment time, by status. The resources here are the providers. So if an NP or a PA has their own patients and their own schedule, they'll be able to see theirs, as well as they could see Dr. Armstrong or Dr. X one day and click it off and see Dr. Y another day. So if one of your MPs is dictating for a provider on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and another provider on Tuesday and Thursday, they don't have to see all the patients. Even better than that, the doctor will also know that the NP and provider have started a dictation on another site. So when the doctor sees um, that the dictation um, is on another device, he knows that the P has dictated on that patient and they don't have to worry about it. Simultaneously, when the reports come back, depending on what your workflow is and if the NP or PA or extender uh, needs to sign for themselves or whether they sign and then pushes it off for a second signature for the doctor, that's all part of the customized workflow and is all very, very doable. Great. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, reduce the, uh, uh, minimize the iPhone application. I'm going to show you the uh, SRSTX web-based module. So the SRS web-based module, and I don't want to um, show too much on the screen right now because it, it, without getting into your exact workflows and needs, um, it's very, very difficult to try to present something like this. But what we have here is the is a home screen. And just like you saw on the iPhone application, you have to be typed, to be reviewed, to be signed, what's in the fax queue, as well as failed faxes. So again, all this has a HIPAA compliant audit trail. The fax has a fax audit trail. So if there's a failed fax, you'll know right away. And it's something that can easily be fixed in the database. Um, what we request prior to starting with anybody is a referring physician database with faxes. The faxing is going to be part of that option that you choose. And it's very, very simple to update uh, the database. Um, so again, we make it very easy, and it's a very, very intuitive piece of software. We also have, as we're working through these tabs going from left to right, the home screen, as I just said. The SRS screen is just, again, part of the mobile application, and it gives the ability, the providers the ability to search on their mobile devices, not only the reports that have come in from the prior day, but they may also search for reports that are in SRS from, you know, a year ago. So it's everything that was sent in and, or electronically signed by them and sent into SRS. The button I want to concentrate most on right now is the workflow button. And as Keegan and I have both mentioned, this is completely customizable. OK, so right here we have our to be type folder. Now again, whether a provider is going to use a digital recorder, whether a provider is going to use a telephone, whether they're going to use an Android, or an iPad, an iPad MIDI, an iTouch, or an iPhone, any dictation, any audio file is going to come into this folder automatically. From here forward is completely customizable. So like, um, I believe Adele just asked the question in terms of, you know, can those files go and be directed in different ways? So to answer that question, that's what these arrows here are for. So for example, let's say it's all letters need to go, be, go to the MA and they're going to review the files. But all follow-ups are going to follow this arrow and be sent directly into SRS. All of it is customizable per provider. Okay, now what we do is we also try to make the staff as efficient as possible.
So right now you probably have a staff that's reviewing the reports and they either have to, you know, get up and ask the provider questions or look in SRS and fix some things. So what we try to do is we try to create that same workflow that you have now, but in a digital format. So for example, if I was to click on this to be reviewed folder, this will show in um, at the database what patients had reports. We can edit the reports. We can view the reports. If it's a letter that needs to be sent out, we provide cover letters and envelopes at no cost. And what we also do is we provide color-coded comment files. You know, some might say, hey, this is an IME. Uh, we want all of our IMEs blue, so we know that we need to check on, um, on who the adjuster is or workman's comp who the adjuster is. And just it's a way that our practices have come to organize themselves within their transcription. Now I'm just going to open up one file just so I could show you what it might look like in an edit mode. In the edit mode in the transcription, unlike a Word document with many of you are probably familiar working in, you have your, your letterhead, you have the headers, you have everything, and the signature line on the bottom. What we've tried to do is eliminate anything that can't be edited to, to make it so it's a little bit more pleasing to the eye, but also a little bit easier for your staff to work with. So if I was to open this letter on Frank Smith, okay, we see here, as I said before, the editable information. So for example, just like you would a Word document, you can edit this information. All of this top information, all the demographic information is coming from the PM system. So you have the clinician, you have the document type, you have the patient ID, the birth date, the patient name, the gender, anything else that you want that's coming over. In addition, as the question was asked before, if I go down to the bottom of the note, we're getting the primary care physician from the PM system as well as the referring physician. If there is an additional referring physician that the doctor says, oh, there's a letter to Dr. Lusberg, Dr. Smith, um, and I'd like to have a CC to Dr. Johns, okay, we're going to choose that from your database and add it. If there's somebody that it was not dictated on and the doctor forgot to add a certain CC, you can search your own database and add that person in so, then, so when that file is either completed or signed, it will then get automatically faxed out to all the CCs in the primary care physician. I'm going to stop here for a second and, and um, ask if anyone has any questions on this specific workflow um, prior to going into a little bit more detail on reporting and um, the audit trails that you're going to see in a second. We do have one, Gary, and that is, can my medical assistant complete my dictations and send them to SRS? A absolutely. So, for example, in this folder, this is the, the MAs folder, we'll call it. If you as a provider said, you know what, I, I don't want to view them or sign them or do anything in the transcription um, with the SRS transcription module, we could just send them directly into SRS. And, you know, if you wanted to um, message you in SRS, not just have it as, as, a, um, as a workflow that it just goes in and, hey, next time it comes in, you sign that report. But the, the MA will not be allowed to electronically sign your reports. So, for example, if I came in here as an MA and I open this letter to um, on Frank Smith, I can complete this report up here and send it off to SRS, but unless that MA had your login and password, they're not going to be able to sign it because then, you know, again, we're not talking a HIPAA compliant signature. Where, for example, if you came into the To Be Signed folder and opened up this letter on Tyler Glass, okay, you'd be able to electronically sign that report. And again, and anyone... Gary, just that, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, just to stop you right there. In the To Be Signed folder, we do have a question about that uh, from Adele again. Can the document be edited in the To Be Signed stage, or does the provider have to go to the review stage to edit? Nope. That's a great question, Adele, again. And right now I'm in the To Be Signed, and just like they have it on their iPhone or Android device, they can edit this. In addition, just to let you know, once it's signed and sent into SRS, 
it can also still be edited in SRS, and you'll still have that audit trail in SRS as well. So what happens is once it's signed in our system, in, in the TX module, two things can happen. We can either send an editable Word document into SRS or a PDF into SRS. It's completely, again, customizable for what you would like it for. Great, thank you. We have no further questions. Okay, so if I just open this report on Tyler Glass, I just wanted to show a couple of things. So this is what a report might look like with letterhead prior to being signed. You know, it could be labeled as a preliminary note. Okay, and you have here, as I came up top, the tra transcription info button. I know a lot of you have asked in SRS about, you know, the audit trail. And this is something that is very easily done on the transcription component of it, having that audit trail. Who touched it? Who looked at it? Who opened it? Who faxed it? Was the fax confirmed? So on and so forth. In addition to that, one of the most important things that we came up with with the transcription module was full reporting and full compliancy. So we, we came up with a solution that allowed everybody, and again, uh, reporting that was free of charge, that at the end of the month, the providers or the administrator didn't get a bill from the transcriptionist saying, hey, Dr. Smith dictated 10,000 lines. So within this reporting function, and we call it Envision, okay, you have production reports and workflow reports. These reports can be scheduled come daily, weekly, monthly, and what it does is it gives accountability, both on you know, your dictation counts, types, lines, what was templated, what was macroed, what was straight dictation, um, turnaround time, uh, uh, provider compliance, untrans unsigned transcription summaries. Anything that has to deal with dictation and transcription is, is a very, very easy one click away to finding a report by provider, by month, by day, by document. Even more important, a lot of you have probably had experiences where providers say, I know I dictated on Mary Smith. Well, we have a report that many of our practices use daily. It's called an appointment comparison report. And since we have that real-time feed from the practice management system into SRS, we actually now manage and will give a report what was on the schedule versus what was dictated and what was returned as a transcribed report. It is a wonderful, wonderful way to get a full handle on your transcription, your transcription needs, and a full service workflow and solution. And Gary, we do have another question. Sure. Uh, we recently saw a group utilizing SRS forms to generate part of the note, then SRS TX combined it uh, with the doctor's dictated portion to be returned as a completed report. How is this done? That, that's actually a great question. I don't know who asked it, but um, they're probably talking about the intake forms that we utilize with SRS and the SRS forms. Um, but with, with SRS, um, as I'm sure whoever is using SRS, you probably have some type of forms that you're using. What we've decided to do is become really invaluable to a practice and try to minimize the amount of dictation that a provider needs to do. So, for example, um, I think I have one here. Hold on, I actually do. For example, this might be an intake form, and again, I'm just using a, um, uh, an orthopedic intake form, but it really could be anybody's intake form. Now, in a lot of cases, there are three ways that this could be accomplished. Um, it could be accomplished by a patient filling it out in the exam room and it being scanned in to SRS and then it comes directly to SRS TX. It could be done as a form, like you see right here, where maybe an MA or the front desk person or, or a nurse fills out part of the form. And again, remember all of the, do, all the patient demographic information is going to be coming in from SRS. And once this form is filled out correctly, so for example, if I say left knee pain with swelling, okay, I could click this button that says SRS transcription. At this point, two things happen. The form gets routed to the provider in an intake form so they can open it up in the exam room, and it gets routed to the transcriptionist, so they're now waiting for the provider to not regurgitate everything that they see on this intake form, 
but really just dictate what they're meant to dictate, which is the impression, the plan, the imaging, maybe part of the physical exam. And they don't have to do everything and, and redo what their staff has already done. If they want to, for example, when it's routed to the provider in the exam room, they can come in and add a few things and then resend it to SRSTX and then, again, begin dictating. And what happens at that point is we take this form and we convert it into real sentences. So, for example, a finalized report might look like something like this, where you have a chief complaint, left knee pain with swelling, um, you know, the history and present illness, and we're creating real sentences by a real person, not a canned report that you have with a lot of these EHRs that are point and click and they're just awful and, you know, people are having issues when, uh, when they're being taken to court. And then what happens is when you get down to about this highlighted area, this is where the doctor really begins the dictation. We combine the two and send it back as a completed note. So that's probably what they're referring to as they saw um, the way that it's being done in a lot of practices right now. By, but it's, again, can you remember, it's a different workflow and something that certainly can be migrated into if, if everybody is on the same page. The last thing I wanted to mention, um, if I can, I'm just going to go back to the iPhone application, uh, was the third way of, of utilizing this um, this type of intake form. So for example, you know, if I went back and I wanted to show you, um, hold on one second please, uh, James Noble, and let's, let's say that the doctor wanted to open up that same intake form. The doctor can click on the intake form and really instead of dictating those full sentences like they're doing right now, the doctor to save time can dictate right bilateral, pain, swelling, uh, three weeks, work-related, medial, constant, so on and so forth. So instead of having to dictate full sentences, they're just dictating the bullet points, which is, again, designed to have them save a great deal of time. Now we're just going to kind of transition back over to what the real benefits based on, you know, Everything that Gary just showed, you can clearly see the benefits. But let's just kind of outline the benefits and the difference and what makes this platform the best in the industry. Um, one of them is the direct interface with the SRS EHR at no cost. That's an important point right there. Um, the fact that we can pull in your, uh, your schedule and your template to your mobile device. Um, the direct interface with the PM, we have, you know, obviously your appointments at no cost. It's going to speed up your doctor's. And that's not even, um, you know, not only is it going to speed them up, it's going to save them so much money. And those two together are enough for you to at least have, you know, you have to schedule a trial and, and, and see how it's going to work for you. So it's going to speed up the doctor by no need to dictate the name. You don't have to uh, dictate the demographics. And a lot of those, those, you know, last names are very hard to dictate, to pronounce. Um, so you don't, you don't no longer have to do that because it's automatically pulling in from SRS. And also, your templated information is already going to be there. So that, you know, a right knee arthroscopy, they don't have to, to, to dictate everything that goes along with that. We can pull that in, and that's that qualified text. So also, we're going to offer you comprehensive reports in the HIPAA audit trail, as Gary showed. And you're going to have mobile access via the free transcription app. So everybody can go into the App Store or Google Plus or Play or whatever uh, the Droid is and um, you, you can go and you can download the SRS TX app to your phone and please reach out to your account manager and we can provide you with some demo credentials so your doctors can log in and um, you know just kind of poke around and see how cool it is right from their phone. Um, it's going to give them access to dictate, to review their dictations, to sign off on them and automatically fax reports on almost any device from anywhere. So it cannot possibly get easier or better than that in my opinion. Um, and, you know, just the bottom line here, SRS is going to drastically reduce your transcription costs. And even drastically reducing the time, that's going to save you uh, money as well. So the bottom line is you may have doctors that are more comfortable sticking with a voice recorder. And, you know, just throughout my tenure at SRS, I've seen that. There's no, you, there's no two doctors that are exactly the same. You're going to have the most senior doctor in the practice who has his Olympus Digital Voice Recorder and he's not letting it go. That's fine. 
that's absolutely fine. We can accommodate those workflows. Um, then you can have, you know, the most, uh, the doctor right out of fellowship who wants to take that SRS templated um, approach that Gary showed. Perfect. He can do that as well. So just like the EHR, we can form to what's going to make you the most efficient and not the other way around, and that's so important. So we can still save the doctors um, a ton of money by pulling out the qualified text. I'm going to show you that in just a second. But why not use a solution that's going to be fully integrated with your EHR? It's going to streamline so many unnecessary workflows. So with that said, let's get into a little bit of the uh, cost comparison. And I'm going to show you a document here. So what you see here looks like a normal uh, physical exam. And the green items right here, um, orthopedic associates, the headers, and the demographics, uh, those are all pre-populated. Uh, that text you, you're not paying for because it's going to be populated already. So now, if we calculated this report line by line, and we're now let's say that we're going to define a line uh, by every time we hit return, which, by the way, sometimes, uh, you know, when we do these analysis, we have groups who don't really know how their line is calculated. But we've had people come and say, hey, we only pay six cents a line. We only pay eight cents a line. Well, that may be, but this physical exam, that line right there, once they press enter, they're on to a new, um, you know, eight cents per line. SRS, we do it a little bit differently. We uh, define a line by 65 characters. So that's it, you know, it's just knowing how to uh, define a line. So if we calculated this, um, this report will cost $7.60. Now, how many of these reports do, does your practice see a day? I mean, probably hundreds. All right, so then the next thing is, as a typical console calculating you, our way of defining a line, the 65 character line with spaces, it would cost $5.33 uh, cents at 12, 12 cents per line. So you can clearly see that we're already saving more than $2 already, but let's even go a step further. And this same report using our advanced template and macro reduction fee schedule would cost $3.64. So that's a 52% savings over most traditional transcription charges. And why is that? Because if you look behind these little stickies at the um, highlighted text, that's the only thing that the doctor is dictating. He's dictating his impression and plan. Everything else, the black text, that's already, um, that, that's the templated at the way reduced rate. So not only are we saving the doctor the time of dictating that physical exam, but we're saving the cost. So it's unbelievable. And you know, we'd be happy to uh, take a look at what you're paying now and show you kind of how we can cut that by 52%, hopefully. OK, so with that said, let's move on to some testimonials. So as you know, uh, being SRS clients, that we absolutely love our, our, our customers. And we have very good relationships with you guys. And we're so happy to have you on board. And it allows for us to have great testimonials. So the best way to find out if SRS transcription is going to work for you besides doing a trial is how about you just reach out to some of the, the users. And you know, we can put you in touch with any SRS transcription users and just see how it works for them. You know, talk about workflows. You can see that Dr. Diaz sees five to ten more patients a day. And her quality is outstanding. So she loves the iPhone platform. And you know, that's just that's been a great success story. Now, Nancy LaRose from um, Danbury Ortho, she works with SRSTX on a daily basis, and she just said it's very user-friendly to her staff, and you know, everybody, it just makes everybody a little bit more efficient, and it's seamless. So any reference or SRS transcription user can, um, can also attest that beyond the benefits that you have clearly seen in this presentation, you're going to get the experience of working with somebody who's just absolutely top-notch, and that's Gary. And he's always, always, always going to be honest to you. His customer service, you know, it's the SRS customer service, and it's unparalleled in the industry. And above all, I promise you, you will have fun working with Gary. He's a great, great uh, person to work with. And I have to do it very often, so I know. <laughs> so the next step, before we get into question and answers, is I'm going to show you a territory map. There's one small change on this territory map that was pointed out to me, and that is the state of Pennsylvania, which actually should be yellow, and that is Marsh's territory. So I know that um, over the past week, we have kind of realigned the territories a bit. 
Um, so just take a look at the, the map here, um, and Pennsylvania, you are in the yellow category. If you're in the northeast, that's going to be me. There's my number and extension. Yellow would be Marsha, who's more Midwest now. Megan is in the southeast, and Rob is over to uh, the west. And we would love to follow up with a tailored demonstration for your group uh, just to determine your scope of savings by using SRSTX. And everybody um, is looking to save on the transcription cost, as we know, and we're, we absolutely can offer you the solution that will do so. So please, please reach out to us with any questions. Um, and also, your dedicated account executives are going to be reaching out to you after this presentation. And also, without further ado, we really hope to see you in October at the SRS Annual User Summit. Um, it's October 16th and 18th in Greenwich, Connecticut. Gary and I will be presenting um, you know, for our clients and some prospective clients the SRS Transcription Solution. And uh, you can certainly go to our website and register if you have not. I know that we are near capacity. So please, please, we'd love to see you there. It's always, always a great time. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, we look forward to, to reaching out to you.